So I'm only going to say this once. Acknowledge me. YouTube faithful, what's going on? It's Flex Friday, baby. Check the farmer's tan. You love to see it. Means I've been golfing. We got a massive MLB slate today. We got preseason football, which I don't recommend. It's absolute poverty. Just save your coin for the real shebang. There's Olympics going on. Little man Timmy gets his little flowers, even though he sold me. But hey, a dub's a dub, right, Timmy? Right, Timmy? Timmy don't even watch the YouTube. That would imply that he's putting in work. So the goal today, I'm going to give you like two or three maybe four guys that I want you to think about that I like to talk about we're gonna chop the odds we're gonna get it going and we're gonna get right all right so first things first let's go to D Jizzle the partner and let's see what we got right out of the gate we got Wheeler less 34 what do I always tell you guys we're looking for 54.5 or better on prize picks so we're looking for a green box as you can see there's only one and it's a fantasy score the most volatile stat there is so if you want to take a shot on Wheeler less fantasy you can see it's a four point differential go right Right ahead Barrios less five and a half K's it's minus 136 on pinnacle I put it in a lineup myself I also am probably going to attack his 2.5 earned runs which I will check my model shortly after this video to find out Eflin under five and a half K's minus 137 you could put these two in a lineup together and get crispy value via pinnacle if you put them in the two on prize picks Eflin and Barrios not telling you that I'm high on them but I'm just showing you the value young man and woman we got Bryce for the Brewers over half a hitter strikeout listen whenever they're at 0 0.5 like Ktel Marte yesterday I don't mind taking it because all they need is to strike out once that means two foul balls and then one swing and a miss or one lucky umpire call and bang it's a green square so you can go right there flirty the man the myth the legend it's facing the absolute nut low pirates my team I love my pirates but let's keep it a buck the thing is this y'all flirty's line I, at seven and a half I like less but you could see here at seven it's being shot over but at 6.5 where everywhere else it is if you can get flirty at 6.5 you can take over at 7.5 it's less and i took less at 8.5 on underdog which i will go there right now and you can see i like tanner hawk which isn't on prize picks yet more four and a half the model has him at five it's a terrible matchup for him but i'm trusting the 0.5 differential i'll take a shot and then flirty less eight and a half you can see these are alternate lines it only pays 1.75 x right but underdog has a promotion right now where you're getting a discount there's like three options i've already used mine you put in the discount and you'll get 3x promo code crush you'll get a free square plus your deposit match on underdog check it out they're doing the lord's work and for what it's worth you can also get tanner over on chalkboard who has a couple of promos too i did that as well so you got keller over two and a half earned runs once you get in the 52 territory it starts to get real dicey so with that Let's get into the mix on prize picks. It's Flex Friday. That's why you guys are here. Let's talk. Vladimir Guerrero is a massive... The man is doing things right now that would make Barry Bonds blush. Maybe even Ken Griffey. The man is just hitting balls. He's hitting homers. He's doing it all. If you want to ride this man's streak, if you want to ride this man... God in heaven, pause. We have to pause for the cause. He's on a 20-hit streak. He's facing Oakland. I think it's... Who is it? Mitch Spence? Pitching for the A's right now? I should have used the Mark McGuire reference. Where is he at? Mitch Spence. I know you're here. I smell you. There he is! Mitch Spence! It's Spence! And Spence ain't doing nothing! Guerrero can shell him! But I don't know if I'm going to take his, uh, what do you call it? His fantasy score. But the fact of the matter is this. For a Flex Friday slip, that's when I got no problem riding the hot hand heavy hitters, baby. Because it's a free roll. You know you're going to be in the mix. The man's on fire. Again, 20 hit streak folks this right here crispy i know it's a gobbly but yes it's a hit you could take his 1.5 these are always my favorites even the gobbies they pay well 1.5 bases his fantasy score whatever have you guerrero is in the mix i am not afraid of mitch spence at all here's tanner hawk real quick we'll get back to grow you can see right here remember we're looking for range of outcomes fam the matchup it's hot garbage but in 13 of his last 20 he's gone over four and a half you can see his range of outcomes is anywhere between four and six on average and his line is 4.5 model has him at five so i will take my chances but check the matchup folks 224 or 2024 ranked they're ranked fourth overall and not striking out in the last 30th they're ranked 11th so it's gonna be tough all right maybe you can go to his walks if you find that and take more at 1.5 if you can find hawks walks at 1.5 take that either or is fine with captain crush now let's find guerrero 
Check this out. In the last 20 games, the man's had over one hit. It's crazy. It's a massive streak, okay? This is 1.5 hits. That's why it's showing this. But if you go to the head-to-head, -head, he's been getting hit. Look, on June 9th, hit, hit, hit. I mean, the man's just been getting hit. I don't care about last season, but look at the Herbie. He's got one two two one so i think the gobby 0.5 but the 0.5 hit is my favorite play for his would be the gobby but if you want to take his fantasy score and you think he's gonna go yarn again like he did yesterday then you could ride the train it's flex friday you get a free roll and i don't mind taking heavy hitter wagons on a free roll ever same thing with schwarber i took him yesterday at 1.5 i took his demon at 2.5 guess what he got the job done and he cashed both just like i said he would he brought home all the bacon for captain crush they don't have his 1.5 herbie on the board and they don't even have a 2.5 herbie on the board because they're scared so if you want to go back to kyle you can those two are the wagon hitters today it'd be kyle and guerrero half a hit those are the gobbies for you today to pair up with your main plays talked about tanner remember there's no groundbreaking stuff here guys this is just abc plug play so you could put these two in right here and this pays 2x and they're both gobbies i'm telling you it's not bad all right it ain't bad you take both their hits it's 1.6x that ain't bad either you bet 100 you win 60 okay so even though it's a gobby don't let that little gobby scare you off it's not it, it's same thing with the demons if it's a good play it's a good play guys other books let you take these lines you just take the juice for it prize picks just has a better interface so instead of showing the juice they show you a gob okay you can't be worried about it coin is coin and they're not guaranteed to hit I'm just giving you wagon option. You dig? So, earned runs allowed. I'm about to be the earned run king around here, boys. I'm telling you. Barrios, blueberries might be in play. I'll have to check it, like I said. Mitch Spence. My goodness, it's a gobby. If it wasn't a gobby, I'd be going there. You know what? I'll save the earned runs for the live stream. Yeah, I know the YouTube faithful. You hate to hear it. But that's where I do my best cook for the earned runs. And yesterday was absolutely no different. What a segue. All right, so here we go. Look at the walls of green from the lot of All right, yesterday's promo, bang. I paired it with Pete Alonzo. Cash it, cash it. This was the two-man free play. I gave everyone two gobbies on third or Wednesday to pair up to get that free lineup, cash it. Then we parlayed it into this. This was the two-man given on live stream, cash the free lineup. Everybody on live, this was the two-man I said to take. No excuses, no tears. I will drink your tears, fellas and ladies. I gave it away. All you had to do was tail. Look at the timestamp. I was on the live stream when I made it. I cooked it. Bon appetit. Cook this one up too. k -tel sold. It's fine. The man has done wonders for me, so I can't complain. And look at the earned runs. Brian Wu, Dean Kramer, my play of the day given on YouTube yesterday. I gave you 2.5, but I took his demon. Cash them both. And then Nestor Cortez, again, made on live stream, baby. Cash it. Cash my two hitters. And then I put this in the cord, the two-man chalkboard lineup, Hunter Green. I gave these on YouTube as well. Cash them both. And and then cash my four man chalkboard slip gave all these on live stream cash them both and the youtube now it wasn't just me cashing d ward cashed hoka hey cash look at this hoka hey put in six he had it he had the keys to the kingdom he listened to me say taking a i don't know if he listened to me say it or not but i told everyone taking a, a qb to go over 140 yards during preseason is ridiculous it's always going to be less to take there he has woo anderson nito kramer and guerrero i am 100 percent certain this person was on the live stream I guarantee it. So Hoka Hey, appreciate you checking out the live stream and tuning in. Venom Cash, Turbo Cash. Look at this. He has the three straight from me. Cash it. Rammy Cash, Baggy Cash. This right here is straight from the live stream, boys. Cortez and Kramer cash. I also had Kramer less pitching outs on the regular square. Cash that. Mark's World cashed. A big wall of green. Mac attack. Shadow Link cashed. He listened. Disco cashed. My goodness. Disco cashed. I will be darned. Logic cashed. Hawk cashed. Green bars cashed. Solid cashed. Wanna cashed. Wanna with the Pete Alonzo and Bomb Gom cash it and then everyone else posts in regular steps but the point is be in the live stream today at 4 45 central captaincrush.net scroll down to the gold package by now this is where you'll get access to the live stream one month 24.99 get in there you'll get your coin back that is where i do my best work to earn runs it's not just a sales pitch it's a way of life it's what i do i'm good at what i do giving people winners because i explain to them so they can get their brains clicking okay so we will cover it there i hope to see you there and you'll get my projection sheets in place if not then continue doing what you do really want to invest in your hobby i'm giving you the best choice to do it so let's continue the cook
They finally put Tanner on the board, but of course they put him at five. Why wouldn't they? Now, a lot of people are going to be going with Mr. Cabrera, and Captain Crusher has been putting people on Cabrera. Every time he's been cashing his demon, Captain Crusher has been right there cashing it. Bang! Eight, seven, six. I was on him all those times, but now he's facing a juggernaut of a team that doesn't like to strike out. So he's actually going to be very popular today because he's going to be a green bean last five. Can we go there? Well, he's projected for 4.67 in my model. Let's take a look over here on Outlier, take it a step further. In his last 20, 50%, 10 of 20, right? He's been on that heater. We've been riding him. But what do you see? What do you hear? What do you say? He's due regression because he absolutely has a range of outcomes that's going to be between two and five. Okay, on average, he's getting two and five Ks. Most likely, he's getting four. So that hook is absolutely in play. I would say if they had a Gabi at 3.5, you could go there. But I don't know, man. Look at these numbers. The Padres, they're just not striking out. Last 30, ranked one. Last 2024 overall, ranked one and not striking out versus right-handed pitchers, fam. Now, I'll concede he has been pitching good, and I've been riding that train when he was. I put I put the cord on him, but right now, look at his whip, 1.49. Look at his earned runs per nine, strikeouts per nine. I mean, he's not an elite pitcher by any means, and the matchup is just not matching, okay? The math ain't mathing, fam. So I'm gonna leave it to you guys. You guys can use your minds and whatnot, and you guys can decide if you wanna go there. I personally probably won't. And then on the other coin, you got Martin Perez, who just dealt like nine k's versus the rockies okay you got seven but the man's been passed around the league like freaking a disease and i don't know if i want to take him today at four i think he has push equity he's a former pirate a former this a former that but i'll tell you what he isn't a former winner i don't know if i'm taking any martin perez today okay i just don't think i want to go there i know a lot of people are going to see that he had seven k's versus colorado and think they can go there but the thing about Perez, he's the definition of a contact pitcher. You could see at 3.5, it would be crispy. But at 4, he has push equity. He's most likely going to land on 4. If you want to take a shot there, I guess you could. But do you really want to be sweating Martin Perez today? I don't, so I won't go there. A lot of people are going to be looking at Jamison. He's in a great matchup against the White Sox. He only needs to get 4. Yeah, Captain Crush is fading. I have no interest. The reason these guys' lines are low, even the good matchups, is because of their matchup so i personally am not going there you can't make me all right so it's really not a pitcher slate today it's more gonna be a hitter slate if you ask me i don't really like these lines i mean i just really don't see anything here at least prize picks finally took the gobbies and demons and separated and get again that little arrow thing was so dumb i don't know why they did that all it did was create lag for their site did they do it on every yes they did it on everything fine thank you prize picks because that little arrow thing that you could click was poverty it wasn't hitting it's so much better this way than just clicking to see oh what's his do what's his got no just have it all listed out and you can see it the next thing you need to do is just have it listed by game the way underdog does it and then you'd be in the mix so we're back on earned runs nope i don't want to go there i told you guys the two hitters i like guerrero kyle schwarber pitcher fantasy score by the way if you can find zach wheeler over five and a half k's that's crispy but you could see since we started this video is was at 34 now he's at 33 i personally am not going to be taking less on his fantasy score i don't especially now that they bumped it down i don't want to deal with it but i will take over at five and a half strikeouts which i will find it on chalkboard i already locked it in jameson's fantasy score would probably be where i go not going to his strikeouts, but probably with his fantasy score, possibly. I'm not sure there, guys. Again, it's early. I need time to process this. There's a lot of stuff on here. A lot of people are going to be on Flirty's fantasy score. It was at 40. Now it's at 41. That tells me that it's going to be popular. People are putting it money is moving that line now for hitter strikeouts orlando this has been a wagon for me i don't really care for the pitcher that's pitching to him but for whatever reason he's just been a wagon it was plus ev yesterday today i don't think it is but my model has him at 0.92 k's which is pretty much a full strikeout so i will go ahead and take it you can see he's been an absolute strikeout demon one two two one one he only needs one we'll ride that train boys you can see right here today it's a pretty much a 50 50 minus 120 minus 120 20 there's no real value on either side but 
The model has it at 0 0.90, so like I said, that's almost one. We'll go ahead and take it, all right? I don't need to go to outlier and all that stuff for you guys. You could do that on your own time. But this is my theory with these hitter strikeouts, the demons and everyone else or whatever you could see. As you could see, most of these are usually goblins. Today, they're not. What does that tell you? It tells you that today, it's going to be most likely a hitter slate, okay? There's not a lot of stud pitchers on this slate today. Now, here you go. If you were making a lineup, you could see Arcia over half a strikeout, Guerrero's hits, Kyle's hits, Berrios over two and a half earned runs or less five and a half Ks. Nicholas and Keller. I like both of these over two and a half earned runs, but if you put all these in a payout, it's only paying 10X for six of six. So I would limit it and mix and match it. I think Keller could give up three runs. My model says so same with miles, but you are paying the price because they are goblins. So you're paying the juice on that. Absolutely. Another one would be Carson Spears more two and a half earned runs. I think that one's fine too. Guys, remember it's flex Friday. All the lines are going to be tight and your value is going to be with the hitters today i'm telling you right now the pitchers are not going to be the ones that you want to really be sweating so if you can find the 1.5 guys that are due that's where you need to go y'all find the ones that are 1.5 that are due yesterday it was nito and Kowser. you can ride the wagons but also want to find the guys that are due all these chicago hitters horner suzuki they're absolutely in play and on the other side lewis robert at 1.5 i'm for sure gonna take a shot him and suzuki for sure taking shots and then for the Dodgers, is Freddie Freeman on here? Man's been on a mission. I love me some Freddie Freeman. He's cashed me so much coin over the season. And then everyone's hating on the Braves because they've been disaster class, but this is the get right spot for the Braves. Big poppy wannabe Ozuna. He's in a launching pad, folks. This could be the day where he goes yarn. He's absolutely due. His 1.5 hits runs RBIs. His fantasy score could be in the mix. His 2.5. I mean, they're pricing him up to go yarn. Olsen, all these guys are priced up. Look what the Mets just did to them. There is a reason why, guys. They give up runs. So any of those guys, Kalenic, Riley, whoever you want to choose, it's mix and match dealer's choice but prize picks has them all priced accordingly we'll check the model on that in the live stream that's at 740 we got plenty of time y'all but hopefully i gave you guys a brief rundown of the slate and hopefully you know what to look for okay i'm not having too much action on that early game there is discounts all around today so make sure you're checking that out folks and my boy there he is freddie freeman he is on the board if you can find Freddie Freeman at 1.5 hits, runs, RBIs, you take it, especially against the Pirates. 7.5 hitter fantasy may be a little bit too high, but I'll probably take him over half a hit. And then Otani is 100% due today. The man has been selling everyone. He finally needs to get right. Is today the day? I don't know, but I can 100% promise you that I'll have exposure to 1.5 hits, runs, RBIs against the Pirates today. I don't know where I'll have it, but I will have this in a few. Give him a chance to get me my coin back i love targeting studs when they've been having bad games that is what i do and with that i'll leave you with this wasted away again in chocoritaville searching for my green beans some people claim that there's a captain to blame but i know dun, 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 dun. It's because you're not plugged in Captain Crush's live stream. Here's the salute. Good luck in all your contests. Hit that Flex Friday ticket, baby. And as always, my brothers and sisters in Christ, let's crush.